Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Pedophiles can be anyone. A pedophile is a sexual offender and they can be young or old. The average age of a male pedophile is 30, and they can be educated or uneducated, and they can also be of any race, gender, or religion. Pedophiles will not only groom children, but they will also find a way to groom the parents, the caretakers, the neighbors of all their potential victims. Back in 2015, C.K. Louie hosted an NBC sketch series where he said that there was a child molester who lived in his neighborhood when he was growing up in the 70s, but he didn't like me. I felt bad, he joked. Some people on social media did not like his joke, saying that he crossed the line. Another time, Amy Schumer was under fire for making jokes about dating Hispanic guys, where she stated that she now prefers consensual sex. Back in 2017, The Rock was on SNL, and in one particular sketch, he was playing a mad scientist who created a child-molesting robot. People were definitely offended by this. Nobody found it funny. And SNN got a lot of backlash for this skit. Like I always say, all jokes have a little bit of truth in them. Welcome to Lovely Tea TV. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is super crazy. Comedians Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears are very much known for their jokes and sketch comedy routines. Well, now they're being sued over accusations that they forced a pair of siblings to not only act in sexually explicit skits, which they allegedly ended up being published on the Funny or Die website back in 2018. A 22-year-old woman who's being identified anonymously as Jane Doe and her 14-year-old brother is being identified in court documents as John Doe. They filed a lawsuit in the Los Angeles Superior Court this past Tuesday. The siblings said that they were children when the comedians coerced them into taking part in a sexually explicit skit in two separate incidences. One was in 2013, one was in 2014. And according to the complaint, Haddish and Spears stole the youth of the seven-year-old child and a 14-year-old child. In the lawsuit, Jane says that she was 14 years old when she met Haddish at a summer camp where the comedian appeared as a guest speaker. That is when Haddish allegedly told Jane that she had the perfect role for her. The perfect role, however, turned out to be a sexually explicit skit which involved Haddish teaching Jane how to mimic fellatio. The complaint states... Jane said that she and her mother had no idea what this skit would involve. Only Spears and Haddish knew the storyline for this skit, the complaint states. Spears and Haddish allegedly told Jane to watch a video which showed a group of co-eds eating a sandwich from a suggestive manner on opposite ends, moaning and making sexual noises as they both ate the sandwich in a manner that simulated the act of fellatio. Physically, emotionally, and mentally uncomfortable, the plaintiff, Jane Doe, mimicked the acts that Haddish and Spears wanted her to do so she could just go home, the complaint stated. Haddish allegedly made another offer to the family in 2014, telling the sibling's mother that she had a role for the younger brother. According to the complaint, the comedian described the role as a scissor reel for Nickelodeon. Jane says she accompanied her brother to the Nickelodeon shoot to serve as a chaperone. But the siblings were allegedly told that they needed to be separate for the skit. John Doe, according to the complaint, was told to strip Dante's underwear for the skit titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. The storyline allegedly revolved around a child who was left at home alone with a man, played by Spears. According to the lawsuit, the Spears character leers at the child lustfully in multiple scenes before massaging him with oil. The man later gets into the bathtub with the boy and forces him to come closer to him in the tub, the complaint states. John, according to the complaint, was portrayed as leering lustfully at the man in the final scene. As the video closes, the words say, watch who you leave your kids with. It appears at the bottom of the screen. After filming, Mr. Doe caught his mother crying, saying that he did not want to film anymore. And the mother repeatedly asked the actors about what part of the film made her son cry. Spears allegedly said the footage was still not edited and he would get back to her later about providing the unedited footage. Haddish, according to allegations, said that she didn't own a copy of the footage, but the skit was meant to be funny. Spears later told the mother that the footage had been deleted because John had been so uncooperative. 
John added later, I had to kick, scream, and cry, and Tiffany came and told me to let him touch me. When I kept crying, Tiffany got mad at me and told me to get dressed and took me home. I remember her yelling at me in the car, telling me that I would never get on TV acting like that. I know now that they are fucked up for what they did to me. And none of this was my fault. The sibling's mother negotiated a settlement in 2019, the lawsuit states, but the agreement allegedly does not bind Haddish, who the complaint alleges insinuated that she wanted no parts of Spears' settlement agreement via text, or the sibling who had no guardian or ad litem present to represent the interests as minors. In the settlement document, which the Daily Beast reviewed, Spears denied the validity of the claims regarding the video's production and distribution but agrees to stop the distribution and exhibition and further use of the video. The document names Spears and the sibling's mother, but John and Jane Doe do not appear in this document. The mother also filed a police report against Spears and Haddish in January of 2020, but nothing came of it. For months, I used to sit in my closet and cry until I fell asleep, the mother said. I would literally wake up on the floor in my closet because I didn't want my kids to hear me cry. She also almost attempted the S word at one point, but was interrupted by her son asking her for help to make breakfast. I wanted Tiffany to see the error of her ways. I wanted her to do the right thing as far as helping with therapy and with the kids and stuff. But the way she just got Hollywood on us, this is not the same friend that had been a friend to me. In that moment, Jane said it became clear to the family that all they got is each other and the common goal is to make sure that John is okay. The family has since made it their mission to heal together, in part through family therapy sessions. For years, Jane has lived with the regret of not being able to protect her younger brother. However unfair to her younger self that feeling might be, I felt like God knows what happens to him, and I wasn't there to protect him. And I wasn't there to protect him, she said. Now, however, things are different. As an adult, I had the power to protect my little brother, and now having the power to do something about what happened to him, that's what my goal is to get done. Just to show my little brother, hey, I'm sorry I wasn't able to protect you and be there for you, but this is how I'm showing up for you now. Haddish did not respond to requests for comment for days prior to this story running. Following the publication of this story, Andrew Brettler, who is an attorney representing Haddish, issued a statement on her behalf saying that the plaintiff's mother has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Ms. Haddish for years. Now the mother has her adult daughter representing herself in this lawsuit. The two of them will together face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. Now getting back to the skit, it appeared on Funny or Die's website back in 20. 18. Speaking to the Daily Beast, a representative for Funny or Die acknowledged the video's existence, but denied that they had any involvement in the creation. Funny or Die found this video absolutely disgusting and would never have produced such content, they said. We were not involved with the conceptualization, the development, the funding, or the production of this video. It was uploaded to the site as a user-generated content and was removed in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of its existence. Now, while the video does appear to be scrubbed from the internet, it's very hard to find it, but you know damn well, honey, these super sleuths on the internet, you can't hide nothing from the internet, baby. Once it's posted, somebody's gonna be able to hunt down that footage. And guess what? I got it, okay? Folks literally went to the Wayback Machine and they were able to find this footage and I went ahead and I recorded it before, you know, it gets re-scrubbed off the internet. And the skit, to me, in my personal opinion, is not funny. You know, Airy Spears joking and saying that he's best friends with Sandusky and, you know, rubbing oil on the little boy. It's just not funny at all. It's kind of disturbing. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the skit. It's not going to be on YouTube. So if you're my YouTube member, if you're my Patreon member, if you're on Discord, you guys will have access to this full unedited video. Everyone else will have to go try and search it for themselves. But the video is very disturbing. All right, so you guys just saw that video. And like I said, I don't understand what part of this is even funny or even comedic. Like literally throughout the video, the little boy is mainly in his underwear. And the fact that Tiffany would co-sign this and Aries thought this was a good idea, it's really not a good look. 
I think the entire situation is very horrible all the way around. But this was definitely a failure on the parent. You know what I'm saying? Where was the mother? Why is the the time? Why is the teenage daughter accompanying her minor sibling to a video shoot? The mother should have been there, and if she couldn't go, maybe an auntie or an adult relative would have went. Because I think if an adult saw what Aries was trying to do to this young boy, it wouldn't have went down. They would have shut it down. But because she's a teenager and they were able to separate her from her brother, she had no idea what was going on. Now I will say this: Does this make Tiffany and Aries Spears, you know, pedophile? files I don't think so um neither one of them actually touched or you know slept with this child it was a very uncomfortable shoot it looked weird I don't get the point of it but it wasn't like they had physically or sexually molested him right I also find it interesting that this took place back in like 2014 and they've been trying to sue Tiffany forever. Seems like as Tiffany's fame grew, they kind of got upset that they were kind of left behind. And I'm not talking about the children. I'm talking about the mother because kids are just going to be kids. Um, a lot of people in the industry joke about things like that. And I don't understand why I don't find it funny. But again, it's very interesting that they're now trying to sue her and sue Aries for this money years later. To me, it comes off more like a shakedown. And it looks like the mom's trying to get paid. And because she wasn't able to get paid before, now she's having her daughter file the lawsuit. But again, either way, the video was distasteful and the video should have never been recorded. So I leave the question to you guys. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? How do y'all feel about the video? It's very disturbing. You know, I see where they're trying to be funny, but I just can't laugh at, you know, child molestation and pedo jokes. I just don't find them funny. Any type of molestation sits with a child throughout their life. You never forget it. You have flashbacks. It really affects people and how they move day to day. So I just don't find anything comical about it. But again, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you guys feel about the lawsuit? Do you feel like the lawsuit is valid? Do you feel like it's a money grab? And how do you guys feel about them even coming up with this skit in general? Okay, so make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you guys share the video. Last but not least, make sure you still subscribe to my videos. Okay, because I love to unsubscribe people from this channel. But once again, thank you guys for taking time out to watch. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.